Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Bartlett. I'm a metaphysical astrologer, and I'm presenting this July astrology forecast. Um, it's going to be quite an intense month going on. Um, we have a lot of planetary changes, meaning the planets are going to be moving from one sign into the next. And then we also have some really significant uh, planetary aspects, which are going to be very challenging at best and require probably our highest intentions in order to get through them in a way that's very healthy. Starting on the 30th of July, we have a T-square. We have Saturn in its retrograde motion, opposing Mars, both squaring Uranus. This is um, an accident waiting to happen. The only saving grace in this really is that Saturn retrograde in Aquarius because it gives us the opportunity to take space to take a breath maybe and step back from the situation rather than being knee jerk. But the Uranus Mars, Oh, you know, this can be road rage. This could be um, uh, domestic violence. Is, you know, this, these are a lot of things that where um, an individual, two individuals getting caught up in their own fixed ideas coming at one another, um, expecting and wanting the other person to change and not willing to do it themselves. This is going to be really a challenging aspect. As well as that, we're also doing a sun uh, in conjunct Saturn. So, you know, the way we shine out is even being challenged and trying to make a decision about how we're in relationship to authority and how we deal with these things is really going to be up here on the 7th of July. On the 6th of July, you know, that beautiful Mercury in its own sign of Gemini that wants to express itself is ready to go and do things is going to be squaring off against Neptune in Pisces, who just wants to kind of hang around maybe get stoned, have some drinks, chill out, watch a movie, not really deal with life. Um, that's going to be a little bit of attention. It may mean that communication may be a bit of an issue. Maybe you're talking to someone and they, um, you see their mouth move, but all you hear is, wah, 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 wah. you know, sometimes that's what happens with these sort of aspects, especially if these are affecting your personal planets in some way. On the 6th of July, we have Venus in opposition to Saturn, still in its retrograde motion. This is a great time of reviewing what our values are, um, what sort of things do we give up in relationship to authority, um, considering the ways we maybe don't value our creative selves or our more loving, excitable selves. On the 8th of July, we have Uranus squaring that Venus. So it's going to be a further questioning. You know, here's that T-square we were talking about originally, of course. And right behind or right ahead of Venus, actually, we have um, Mars. So, um, a lot, you know, kind of clash of the wills continues to go on for this month. Then we also have Mercury in conjunct Pluto, meaning that there's um, some things that maybe need to be spoken to that we don't want to speak to, things that are really uncomfortable, um, but, but, but really kind of have to. It's time to address the pink elephant in the room in our relationships, in our, in our, in our work, in our homes, in our, wherever it is in our lives, these areas that don't work. Otherwise, these things are going to show up. It's going to be an accident just waiting to happen. Then on the 9th of July, we have a uh, new moon in Cancer. That's when the sun and moon align. This is a quiet time, really good time to just take some time, be alone with family, be alone with yourself, um, be at home, uh, nurturing, taking care of yourself and others that you love, who you love. On the 11th, Mercury is moving out of his or its sign of Gemini and moving into the quieter sign of Cancer. Time again to settle down, maybe make some popcorn, watch some movies. Um, it's a little, a little more of a quiet time for Mercury, more thoughtful. Um, then we have uh, Mars and Venus in lovely Leo, getting it on. Um, these are the divine complement, the divine masculine and feminine right next to one another, showing us the creative ways to make love, to be creative, to... Um, to express ourselves in unique and new ways. On the 17th, the sun is going to be in opposition to retrograde Pluto. 
Um, you know, again, this is another thing with authority. It's also our home versus corporate. Um, how do we look at, you know, ourselves? What, how do we, how do we challenge ourselves? How do we maybe take care of ourselves in a better way and not allow those plutocrats out there in the world to be affecting our lives in ways that continue, uh, continually upset us? Uh, maybe we stop buying some products. Maybe there's a boycotting period. Uh, maybe we just do a sick out at home for the day. Be interesting to see what happens. Then on the 22nd of July, we have Venus in Virgo opposing Jupiter in Pisces. Um, Virgo, Venus wants to get things done, just like we showed earlier with Mercury's in there and Jupiter's like, hey, you know, let's take it easy. We don't really have to do anything. It's, it's time to take it easy. Then Mars is in conjunct Pluto that same day. Um, that's a little bit of a force of wills that Mars and Pluto, they both are rulers of Scorpio and therefore bring forth an issue of power and control and uh, maybe a, a test of wills with you and another individual in your life, depending on where this falls in your chart. On the 28th of July, Jupiter moves out of his rulings, one of his ruling signs of Pisces and moves back into wonderful free loving Aquarius showing us that there are ways to bring forth better ways of being in right human relationship with one another and understanding that we have to, um, that we're all in this together. I think Jupiter in Pisces and Jupiter in Aquarius really help us see both of those. Finally, on the 29th of July, that Mars is leaving the regal sign of Leo and stepping into service oriented Virgo, rolling up his sleeves, realizing, hey, it's time to get things done. It's kind of like Harry, right? You know, Harry, Harry Prince of um, Prince of House of, uh, of Britain and coming in and saying, hey, you know what? I need to step away from these royal duties and I really need to be focused on what the world is requiring of me and showing a good example for the rest of us here in the world. So I'm Michael Bartlett. I am available for um, readings and talks and just coming out with my um, newly revised and expanded Astrological Mavericks. Do you have what it takes to change the world? Please, vi please visit my website, quorummichael.com. Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, like, and I hope you enjoyed what I had to offer today. Thank you so much and have a great day.